I'm Vanessa. I'm a contributing editor here at Book Riot, and my voice sounds a little funny when I try to hit high register. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who are following along, you may or may not have noticed that I went completely ghost on YouTube last week. Um, if you go back and listen to the video from two weeks ago where I'm talking about holiday book uh, habits and, and recommendations, you can already hear that I'm a little bit congested. Uh, that video took several takes and pauses for uh, throat clearing, water sipping, and the occasional nose blow. Uh, but I kept hoping and praying that, you know, it would pass. It was allergies. It was not. <laughs> I ended up getting a really bad cold that then morphed into laryngitis uh, several days later when I woke up and all oh, came out is this. Uh, yeah, that's not even really faking it because I really still can't hit higher pitches. But anyway, it took me out of all things verbal for that whole time. I had to, you know, skip out on YouTube because it really would have been quite a boring one if I'm like, <laughs> um, but I am back this week. If you'll bear with me, there may be a teeny bit of squeak in here and there, but we're going to get through it and we're going to talk about the definition of TBR. So we do get asked this a fair amount of time. I know I'm asked all the time, what does TBR mean? Is it to be recycled? To be what? <laughs> it's, it's to be read. To be read, easy, TBR. Uh, but we have found, as I'm sure uh, you will find as well, that the definition or how we each define uh, TBR for ourselves in its practical use is different from person to person. So some people define it as the list of books that they already own. They're theirs in their possession in some way, shape or form. And those are the books that you're going to read. So you may have them on your shelf. You may have downloaded them on audio. You know, they're yours. And so stuff that you own is the stuff that you're going to read. And, you know, that's that. There is a second definition that is uh, essentially a list of the books in not a specific order, but definitely a lineup of books that you intend to read, like kind of like having um, you know, a stack of books on your nightstand, as uh, I believe Rachel Manuel put in a post from a few years ago that I will link um, in the notes below. But it is, yeah, just a list of books that you're going to take down. You could, can add to it and remove it, but you have a plan, if that makes sense. So you know that your next like couple of books or what have you are going to be, you know, educated and then Shades of Magic and then Guinea Pig Christmas Carol. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that title on um, the fact that I think it's really cute. It's this little like gift book and there's teeny tiny guinea pigs and there's a little tiny Tim with a crutch. I digress. <laughs> so yeah, it is a list of books, very specific that you're going to read that you intend on reading. You've got, like I said, game plan going on how you're going to take those down. A third definition is a very, very fluid one and absolutely the camp that I fall in, which is just books you want to read. <laughs> at some point, somehow, some way, if you, you know, come across the book and the title and it sounds interesting, you slap it on your TBR and then like, when are you going to read it? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I used to keep track of my TBR in Goodreads. I'm now moving to kind of a spreadsheet of my own, but it gives, like I said, just a very kind of fluid list of books that interest me that I think I want to read at some point. I definitely don't get to all the books. I have had titles on that TBR, as I'm sure a lot of you have, that have been there for decades. <laughs> There's titles on the list that I don't even think I really want to read as much anymore because, you know, I've, I've grown. And it really doesn't bother me. It's, it's more just a way of keeping track of like something that sounded interesting, but by no means do I, you know, behold myself to that list because the minute someone shines like a pretty galley over here, I'm like, yeah, I want that. And then <laughs> there goes the rest of the list. It's cool. It's just kind of more of a set of a place to like keep these books that have sort of sounded interesting so I can go back and reference it if I need some inspiration, but don't really care if I ever get to all of it. I don't care how big it is and it's big. Like all aspects of our reading lives, I think uh, your TBR pile list, etc., is a very personal thing in the way that you use it and that's totally fine. Go about your life however you know your tbr makes sense for you a lot of people just don't keep a tbr and that's fine too you just if you want to read it you go out and read it and you're done so it seems like a great time to talk about another really cool tbr and that is um tbr meaning book riot's very own subscription service called tailored book recommendations it is like a stitch fit, stitch i can't talk stitch fix <laughs> for books which how great is that it, it starts off like any great subscription service with a survey and it is a very specific survey, which I love. It asks you 
again, these really like particular questions that are going to ensure that whatever books are coming your way were, you know, very thoughtfully and carefully put together for you based on what you're trying to accomplish with your reading life. Do you have certain goals that you want to reach for specific types of authors or genres? Is there certain types or are there certain types of triggering content that you would like to avoid, which was something I actually absolutely wanted to do. Um, you know, is there a book that you really love that you're looking for read likes for? Do you want to stay in your comfort zone or do you want to branch out? It's it's really quite comprehensive, like any good, again, subscription service should be. So the, the first thing that happens, of course, is that your bibliologist takes your you know, survey results and you know, computes them in their big brainy bookish heads, which pause. Can we talk about the fact the bibliologist is the most amazing title ever. <laughs> I totally want to be one. I get this vision of like a book scientist who, you know, takes all of the, the survey results and then as they're looking at them, like tosses potions into flasks and pipettes, <laughs> all my best chemistry terms. But um, anyway, so once they compile that list of recommendations for you, you're going to receive them in one of two ways. If you want to receive them physically, you're going to get a beautiful package of three hardcover books, which uh, once a quarter will run you $75 plus $4.79 in shipping or free shipping if you subscribe annually. Um, and that is going to, again, going to send you those three physical hardcover versions of the books for you to, to receive and love. And then there's another version, which is great for people like me, who either because you have you know, a lot of access to free or discounted books or, or because you use your library a lot or you audiobook, you don't necessarily need the hardcover versions. And then that's only going to run you 15 a month for a digital recommendation. You'll get a really great email that says your pigeon is ready, which I just think is so cute. <laughs> and then you'll, you know, hop into the email, click it, and it's going to open that separate uh, recommendation sheet that gives you those three titles that were picked for you and why they were picked. I got Liberty Hardy, just saying, felt very, very impressed and, and uh, honored. <laughs> and she picked three books that like knocked it out of the park. I told her that I wanted to read more romance, that I wanted to read a graphic novel, and that I wanted something that would give me all the like uh, heartbreaking feels of The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. Her choices were spot on. But if for any reason your choices aren't, or maybe you're preferences and goals just change as they often do you do have the ability to go back in there as you would with like a stitch fix and say like hey this is what's working for me or not or actually I really want to you know try something like this instead so it can evolve uh with you and I mean what more do we want so now you've learned TBR means to be read. You've learned that TBR is a fantastic subscription service available. To sign up for TBR, you're going to go to mytbr.co, which I'll make sure to put down below for you. Thanks so much for joining me. This is the last video of the year since the holidays have officially arrived. So much shopping to do. Thank you for joining me for this, you know, brief amount of time that I've been booktubing with all of y'all. I can't wait to, you know, bring you tons of more bookish content in 2019. Have a fantastic holiday. Feliz Año Nuevo. Just shameless plug. Make sure you all are signed up for Book Riot Insiders because starting the first week of January, I'm going to be co-hosting the Read Harder podcast so that you get some great bookish recommendations every other week for the tasks on the Read Harder Challenge. Uh, those have been released. So I'll make sure to link that below for you too. Check those out. Again, have a happy holiday. Check back with us in January. And thanks so much for watching.